What's up y'all? This video features all kill counts from the film The Suicide Squad. Super villains Harley Quinn, Bloodsport, Peacemaker, and a collection of nutty cons at Bell Rev Prison join a super secret, super shady Task Force X as they are dropped off at the remote enemy infused island of Corto Maltese. Let's enter the slaughterhouse. The film starts with Savant on his break in prison, yet manages to fulfill his killing urges. The weasel is thrown in the water. He cannot swim and appears to have died. The weasel is dead! Blackguard sells out his team and submits to the villains because he had a deal with them, so it seems. We got a deal, right? Uh, uh, I'm the one who called you! A battle starts, Harley Quinn shoots an RPG and blasts a bunch of them. Check out Captain Boomerang's skills. That was nuts! A few Corto Maltese soldiers die. Mongal hangs onto a helicopter and kills a bunch of soldiers including Captain Boomerang. Javelin is blasted. Mongal burns. TDK, the detachable kid, gets his arms shot up. Savant panics and runs away from the insanity, but gets taken out by Waller. Savant, this is your last chance. Turn back around. Kill anyone you see. These are dangerous people. Nothing like a bloodbath to start the day. They call you peacemaker. I cherish peace with all my heart. I don't care how many men, women, and children I need to kill to get it. Before we get to the next characters, it's important to give you a character detail prior to the bloodbath. That's Bloodsport. He's the Batman of the operation. He's Peacemaker, the Robin who's overgrown his lollipop suit. She's Ratcatcher 2. Oh, he couldn't afford Ratcatcher 1? He's dead. This is his daughter. He's Polka Dot Man, an experiment gone wrong by his scientist mother. And then there's King Shark. Wow, that's gotta hurt. These guys are in competition. Wow, that was slick. We cannot show you the full scene, but we'll highlight the best parts. Non lethal, you lose. Dope as fuck. <laughs> Onto Harley, who was captured by the Corto Maltese soldiers, brought to the president, fell in love, and got engaged. The barons, the children, will be sent to Jotunheim to feed the beast. Killing kids. Kind of a red flag. All in all, I think you're more pretty like this. This part was just perfect. Let's check out this scene during a soldier blockage. Nom, nom. Now another cool scene in the back of a police van. On one. one. We're gonna assume these are all kill shots. A few civilians get killed along the way. Harley was getting tortured by the soldiers, but just when you thought she was out, they brought her back in. Amazing trick. Let's see her go on a rampage. She continues this way and kills everyone in her path. She's impeccable. She's all that and then some. Unbelievable. Ah! 
Wow. From 52 kill streak. This scene is epic. The squad go towards the building and kill some soldiers. Get ready for another epic moment. Chief Scientist, the Thinker, is captured by the Beast and taken care of. That was crazy. Colonel Flagg threatens to release a memory drive which shows the United States government's involvement in the alien operation. Peacemaker fights him for the memory drive. He stabs Colonel Flagg through the heart. Milton is blasted by a few soldiers and Polka Dot Man disintegrates them. A massive explosion happens. Many soldiers die. King Shark gets shot up. Whoa, King Shark is still alive. And one soldier gets his head bit off. The building starts to collapse. More soldiers die. An epic standoff ensues between Peacemaker and Bloodsport. Peacemaker takes one to the throat. This is where it gets crazy. Starro breaks out of Jotunheim, releasing mind control spores, enslaving all of the soldiers and the city's population and going on a rampage. Here is the now president of Corto Maltese. This guy gloats that he's the new president. The squad sees the insanity and begins to confront Starro. Meanwhile, Waller threatens to kill them, and this happens. Turn around now, goddammit! You dumb pieces of shit! And this is our motherfucking warning! She deserved that. Bloodsport advances. King Shark jumps onto Starro, attempting to eat him slowly. Polka Dot Man envisions his mother, which gets his blood flowing. He then attacks. Ratcatcher 2 summons the city's rats to overpower Starro while Harley does what she does best. This scene is yet again epic. The rats make their way up Starro's eye and swim inside the ball. They chew away the blood vessels and make their way inside the eye socket, slowly killing Starro. All of its spores die also. Harley gets out of the eye giving a thumbs up. Harley, King Shark, Bloodsport and Ratcatcher 2 regroup and blackmail Waller with the drive, demanding their freedom. Waller reluctantly agrees and the four are airlifted from Porto Maltese. In a mid credit scene, Weasel is revealed to have survived and runs into the Porto Maltese jungle. In a post credit scene, the critically wounded Peacemaker is also revealed to have been rescued and placed in a hospital where Waller's team offers him more assignments to complete. What do you guys want him for? Just to save the fucking world, that's all. That is the full plot of the movie. Here are the final leaderboards of kills. Our review for this film is a 7.8 out of 10 because it was full of action with lots of epic scenes and a great storyline. Now you tell us, which scene was your favorite? Please let us know in the comments section below. We hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching it all the way to the end. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I am Wally Mate signing out with Spoiler Alert TV. Till next time.